Hello, Bernard Flight here again. This is video two, talking about the assembly and disassembly of the instrument. So I want to identify some of the parts, how to assemble, and some tips and tricks to make it easier and safer to put it together and take it apart. So the easiest thing about the tuba is that you've got a lot of parts you can easily recognize. You have the bell, you've got the mouthpiece, Put that mouthpiece in the mouthpiece receiver. You've got water keys. And that's underneath the slides connected to the valves. Valve slides. Valves, of course. And then all this tubing. Okay. Now, what I want to do is take this camera with me and let's reset it another place so you can see me take the horn out of the case. Let's see if we can get a good view of that. There we go. I'm going to move this tube out the way. Okay. If you notice that the case is on the floor, make sure the kids are aware to do this. You see the latches are up. And there's one on the side here. I'm gonna unlatch number one, latch number two, and then the third one right here. Then lift up the case. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and stand up. You want to make sure you use your legs and knees and bend. Since I'm pretty strong, I'm going to use one hand. I prefer you not doing that. Okay. Now, I took it out of the case. And you're going to notice that these or we call front action valves. Probably the tubas you're gonna use will be um, kind of over the top. Let's see if I can show this for you. So you wanna imagine that your valves won't be here front action, but it'll be top. So be prepared for one or the other. Now I'm gonna have show you when I put the valve or the tuba back in the case. Again, it's still on the, on the floor. I'm gonna close it and make sure, take my time, everything is secure. The bell, valves, make sure the valves are facing up. Just back up again. Now, back here. Now, in terms of maintenance to get started, I'm going to recommend that you get a tuba kit, a little brass maintenance kit. And it's gonna have all the things you need, including the slide cream, or I should say slide grease, slide cream. And then I got an extra thing of valve oil, Alcast. So I'm gonna show you what you can get started with the valve oil, slide grease cream, excuse me. And I will show this in a later video for care and maintenance. So for the valves, putting a valve oil for that, what I would have you do is, you should be able to see the portals. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put four drops in each opening of the valve casing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'll probably would do that um, first couple of days and then every week, um, every other two days. Some people are different. Sometimes they want to do valve oil, use valve oil every day. Um, talk to your band directors. I just recommend uh, at first, first couple of weeks, daily, two to four drops. And then um, after a month or so, just do it every other day. And then before we go, I'll show you how to do the slide grease, slide cream. Take out this slide here, for an example. Then what I want to do is put this grease on this slide, both sides on that bottom part. And then what I'm going to do is work this through. in and out so I know that that it's, the slide is moving smoothly and do with the other one. Actually, I'll do this. And you notice that's gonna be a smoother action. And then you can also push it all the way in, get a paper towel and clean that extra stuff, that's, that extra residue stuff. But there you go, the assembly and disassembly of the instrument. I'll see you in the next couple of videos. Take care.